Thanksgiving Day is possible only for those who take time to remember. No one can give thanks who has a short memory. How often are we thankful? Are we only thankful in the big things? Or do we remember to be thankful in the little things, like sunshine, rain, children playing, or a kind word? Join my sister and I as we tell you what the holiday Thanksgiving went through to become one of our national holidays. My name is Mike Austin. And my name is Amelia. We want to take a few minutes of your time to tell you about a wonderful holiday. Thankfulness is an important theme in the Bible that we all too often forget about. It tells us to be thankful 48 times in the Old Testament and another 14 times in the New Testament. Psalms 105.1 says, Oh, give thanks to the Lord, call upon His name, make known His deeds among the peoples. We are instructed to be thankful for all things, big or little. But how can we be truly thankful people if we have forgotten what we would be thankful for? The first known Thanksgiving celebration in America was observed by the Pilgrims and the Indians in the autumn of 1621. It was a three-day celebration, a time full of family, good friends, and wonderful food. Most importantly, though, it was a time of praising the Lord, their provider. Though today most of us don't grow our own food, that doesn't mean that we should not celebrate God's provision in the same way that the pilgrims and the Indians did at the first Thanksgiving. The second Thanksgiving Day observation that we know of was on June 29, 1676. On June 20th of that year, the Governing Council of Charleston, Massachusetts held a meeting to determine how to express thanks for the successful settling of their community. By unanimous vote, they instructed Edward Rawson, the clerk, to proclaim June 29th as a day of Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving goes farther back than the settling of America. Shavuot, or the Feast of Weeks, was the Jewish equivalent of our Thanksgiving Day. It celebrates the beginning of a new harvest season and God's provision. It was a time set apart by God for His people to give thanks. The first National Thanksgiving Day was celebrated in 1777, 156 years after the first Thanksgiving. It was in honor of the colonial victory at Saratoga, and all 13 American colonies joined in the celebration. Twelve years later, President George Washington proclaimed that there was to be a national Thanksgiving Day on the 26th of November, 1789. President Thomas Jefferson was asked to do likewise, but was hesitant to proclaim a national day of Thanksgiving because he did not believe that it was the job of the national government to assign a day of religious Thanksgiving as an activity. So the idea of a national Thanksgiving Day was dropped. It would take 74 years for another Thanksgiving Day to be proclaimed by a President of the United States. However, Thanksgiving Day was not totally abandoned. Some individual states and communities set up their own Thanksgiving Days. In 1828, Sarah Hale, a widow with five children, became the editor of the Boston Ladies Magazine, where she worked and lobbied to have a national Thanksgiving Day. She believed the spiritual dimension of Thanksgiving Day would prevent the insanity of the Civil War. Because of this, she wrote thousands of letters to state and national officials petitioning for a national Thanksgiving Day. In 1863, President Abraham Lincoln proclaimed that there would be a national Thanksgiving Day on the last Thursday of November. Some believe that he chose this day in correspondence to the date that the Pilgrims landed at Plymouth in 1620, but the real reason why President Lincoln chose this date is unknown. In 1939, there were five Thursdays in November. Because of this, retailers from all over the country petitioned the President to make Thanksgiving one week early. President Franklin Roosevelt listened to these petitions and proclaimed that Thanksgiving should be on the fourth Thursday of November for a longer Christmas shopping season. The uproar of this was so large, the individual states ignored the proclamation of the President and kept Thanksgiving as the last Thursday of November. So in 1939, the United States had two Thanksgiving days one on November 23rd, and the other on November 30th. This went on for two years, until 1941 Congress made Thanksgiving a fixed Jewish holiday on the fourth Thursday of November. 
This Thanksgiving Day, don't hold back what you were thankful for. Tell those you love, share with your friends, but most importantly, tell your Heavenly Father that you are thankful. Thanksgiving Day should not be the beginning and end of our thankfulness. Yes, we should mark Thanksgiving Day with thankfulness, but should we not be thankful every day? I believe we should, and so did Edward Martin. He said it this way, Thanksgiving Day comes by statute once a year, but to the honest man it comes as frequently as the heart of gratitude will allow. How grateful are our hearts? Are they callous and cold? Or are they soft and pliable, willing to tell of their need and inability to do anything on their own? Oh, give thanks to the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the peoples. Let's make his deeds known through our lives as well as through our words.